Well, a key decision this week in a lawsuit between a brain damaged woman and Walmart. The Supreme Court has refused to hear the case of Debbie Shank, who was left disabled after a collision with a truck. Now, Debbie had won a million dollars from the trucking company. The driver was responsible for hitting her, but she did not get to keep any of the settlement because Walmart, who was her employer, sued to recoup the money it had paid to cover her medical expenses, and Walmart won the suit. Joining us now in the studio to talk about this case is defense attorney and former prosecutor Jay Fahey. So Jay, this woman won the million dollar suit after she paid her attorney, I think about $53 million. She ended up with $417,000. Walmart sued her for $470,000, more than she got in the settlement. How could they do this? There's legally. Uh, legally, almost most insurance contracts, health insurance contracts, have uh, a subrogation clause, which means that if the person that gets uh, the health benefits uh, ends up recouping that money in a lawsuit, that the medical uh, expenses have to be paid back. It's very common. What is not common, though, is the insurance companies, in this case, Walmart had their own uh, insurance, rarely uh, go after people for uh, the health benefits if they win uh, a personal injury suit. So that's what makes this case unusual. What also is, is this woman is brain dead. She lives in a nursing home. She's wheelchair bound. Um, and, and she lost her son, 18 years old, in the war in Iraq just a few days after this lawsuit. It's a tragedy. However, in fairness to Walmart, uh, legally, uh, they're on the right they're side. Protected. They're okay. protected. Uh, well, Jim Shank is Debbie's husband, the victim's husband. I spoke with him just yesterday and asked him if he was aware of this clause. Here's what he had to say. I was somewhat aware of it, but uh, it's it's not required. That's not true. It's a thing they can if they want to. And this case, they decided they wanted to. Uh, I've never had any direct contact with them. Everything's been through my attorneys, and quite frankly, I'm glad I don't. And legal option-wise, uh, Jim Shank said, listen, there's nothing they can do. They've been getting a little help from uh, people who've heard about this story with the national attention who want to pitch in. But, but with Walmart... Why do you think, if this is rarely done, would they pursue this? I think they're trying to squeeze every nickel they can out of uh, uh, to help their keep their health insurance down. I mean, they they have a legitimate corporate reason for doing this, which is if that we get this money back, it'll go back into our insurance and it'll help other people out. However, uh, from a public relations standpoint, from just uh, what, what, what's the right thing to do? I think this is a, a public relations disaster. For well, the uh, Walmart spokesperson gave a statement, and it says, uh, while the Shank case involves a tragic situation, the reality is that the health plan is required to protect its assets so that it can pay the future claims of other associates and their family members. So it reiterates what you said. It's yeah. true, but they don't, in most rarely um, do they go after uh, uh, the subrogation rights. Rarely does an insurance company do that. Why they wanted to do it in this case, I can't explain. And maybe this is a trend that we're going to see uh, developing more and more as time goes by. With other companies. With maybe other your companies. own insurance. Wow. All right. Thank you very much, Jay.